So it's just gone 5.30 a.m. in the morning. It is mid-August 2022, and I've left the narrowboat just down there. Ava's still asleep. She probably have no clue that I've gone out. I'm just about half a mile from the village of Polesworth. That is down in that direction. And I've around the site of the former Pawley Hall Colliery. Opened in the 1920s and it carried on production until it was merged with Alvacote Colliery in 1951. Now, this continued production until 1965 when all mining in the Polesworth area ceased production. And all this around the canal is now a country park. And what I want to try and find today at the top of one of these spore heaps is a 40 foot sculpture. 40 foot golden sculpture representing leaves and light and embracing life around us. So I've covered just before sunrise on purpose, hoping to hopefully get some gorgeous shots. And this sculpture represents the rebirth or regeneration of the land around it. All the trees or the majority of the trees around here are silver birch and it is made up of sculptures of lots of birch leaves stacked on top of each other. So I'm going to get myself off the canal. There's a little bridge coming up, bridge number 56, and I'm going to see if I can find a spore heap that I need to climb. So there's a nice little pathway that circles around the spoil heap, but if you know me, if I can go a more adventurous route, although it looks a lot trickier, I'm going to take it. And I think right at the top of there, I can see what we're looking for. So in fact, further ado, I'm going to attempt to scramble up there and we're going to see this beautiful sculpture. It is relatively steep. But as you'd expect, this is a coal spoil heap, so very, very very steep indeed there's an old piece of iron or steel just there halfway up we are getting near the top right we're about halfway up you might be able to hear a busy road over there that is the m42 that's the other side of the trees oh absolutely worn out you see how far i've come up if you turn you around just make out the tip of our golden sculpture It was erected in 2011 and it cost just over a hundred thousand pounds and as I said previously it's 40 foot in height we've got Tamworth over in that direction and Nuneaton is over there and you can see the little lines it's indented all the way representing a leaf a leaf of regeneration it is absolutely stunning I believe the locals we, you know they had mixed feelings on whether they liked it whether it looked a little bit daft or whether it was just generally a waste of money i personally think it's absolutely brilliant i thought it was just going to be a few feet high like you sometimes get like a memorial on top of an old colliery made of stone and a little plaque on top i think that is brilliant and look at the way it just glistens off that early morning sunlight and the gold finish that represents those that came along and created great wealth from all the grounds and exploiting the coal deep below ground. What a fine way to finish off. It's also said to remind many of a shaft deep below ground from the former colliery with light bursting up from the ground representing regeneration and future life. I quite like that idea, and this is the beam of light coming from under the ground.
do hope you've enjoyed this short little video taking a look at this sculpture which dominates the center of the former Pooley Hall Colliery and now a country park. I'm going to get myself back down to the boat. We're going to carry on our journey and hopefully find some more things to show you. From me, I'm at Pooley Hall Colliery Country Park. Like, subscribe, please do comment below. See you in the next one. Bye bye.